perform a Telnet test, the first step is to turn on the Telnet client. So to do that, you go into Control Panel and Programs and turn Windows features on or off. From there, you can go in through that list and you're looking for the Telnet client. So we just need to check the box beside the Telnet client. There it is. And hit OK. And that's going to turn on that feature. Now once that feature is in place and ready to go, we'll bring up the command prompt. And I'm just going to type in Telnet and then a space, the host name, space, and then the number of the port that we want to check communication across. So in this case, we'll do 25734. That's our solid network license manager. And it looks like that port failed to connect. So as a result, we get that message that uh, it didn't go through. We can try testing another port. You can see they got the same error. And let's try that again. And this time, let's actually put in the proper host name. So we can get that E that we forgot a second ago. This time, this should go through without any problems. So now I'll try 25734 and looks like that connected. So that's a successful telnet. Whenever we see just a blinking cursor in the top uh, left-hand corner, it uh, tells us that that went through. And then you can just hit escape to get out of the telnet.